between periods two and three at LC Walker Arena with the Fury leading the Flint Generals 4-1. And I am joined in this uh, break by Robin Bouchard, top scorer for the Flint Generals. The game seemed to intensify, and I'm not just talking about the, the chippiness or the, the sticks and the elbows getting up high, but the last five, six minutes of the period, it seemed to move to a new level. Was that because of the goal? Was there something that happened, or is it maybe just our imagination? I think, I mean, it's like the playoff game tonight. Uh, Muskegon and Flint's got, like, kind of, you know, last time, last, last game we got a brawl in, uh, right. in Flint, but it's not the point. The point is this is a playoff game. We got a battle with Muskegon for the rest of the season for first place, and mm -hmm. that's going to be a big battle. And like you see tonight, it's like playoff game. You know, that's a higher level. Some player can't play tonight because I, the level is very high, and can you see? It's big body check, good passing, right. good shot on that. You got good goaltending. I mean, that's a good game of hockey tonight. Robin, the five-minute major gave you the power play goal. You got one, and it changed the complexion of the game for a while, got you guys right back in it, but then the penalties of Sever Sears led to Muskegon's goal. That seemed to be a very costly penalty because instead of being within two and having the energy and the jumps again, it seemed Muskegon took that back from him. Especially when you see the goalie Parent make like six, seven great save and during the five-minute penalty minutes. That's kind of hard, you know, like frustrating, and we come back and we take a penalty, they score right away, 4-1, this is kind of hard, but I think the key in the last period is the goalie parent for Muskegon. All right. You are the leading scorer on the team. Uh, great shot, Gunner gets good shots off. Is that by design? I mean, you've got eight guys with 40 points or better, and you are the top guy. Is that the style of play that, that Flint dictates, or is it just because you have the talent that's the style of play that this team has adopted? I mean, we got we got a lot of talents in the team. We got a lot of score in the top 20. But the basic on the, the, the rules on our, on our team is work hard, work and hard work and hard work. And when you work hard, the goal will come. You know, you work, you work, you work. Boom, it's a goal. That's why we got a lot of player in the top 20 in the scoring. What do you expect this third period? I mean, with the numbers that you guys put up, down three goals isn't necessarily a big problem, but what do you guys have to adjust or change to get right back in it? I think we don't have to adjust nothing. Maybe a little bit, pinch a little bit more for uh, in the Muskegon zone, but uh, we got to score a couple goals in Perrin. He's a, he's a, he's a, I mean, he's, th he's the best goalie in the league. He's big. He's, he's a good goalie. We need to get a couple on him and try to get this confidence low, you know. But he's, a, he's a great goalie. Now, Muskegon is down defensemen because uh, of the suspensions, and they lost another one tonight with the five-minute penalty. Uh, do you try to take advantage of that, or do you still just play your game and don't worry about who's back on defense? No, no secret on it. we got to try to work on it in the third period. You know, they got, they're down to two or three defensemen right now. Yeah. Villeneuve fight in the last uh, minute to play. we got to work on that. You know, the defenseman got to be tired. Number four, I don't remember his name, but he's got to be tired. Yeah. He's asleep on the ice. You know, he probably play like 40 in the last six, uh, 40 minutes. So we got to work on the defenseman in the last third period. All right, not just in this game, Robin, but tell me about how your season is going. You've got the numbers uh, that indicate that you're scoring, but are you pleased with the way you're playing so far this year? Yeah, I mean, I got a, a big beginning of the season. Uh, I didn't score for the first seven games, no points at all. So I got question myself again what I'm doing. I'm still in hockey or what's going on, you know? And after that, Robbie Nichols talked to me. Robbie's a good coach. You know, he talked to me, he said, Bush, let's go. Go back in your basic game, you know, shoot the puck, give somebody a check, and play your real game. And, after that, I um, came back to my real game and I shoot the puck and everything's going good. All right, last question for you. You said that you've, you've got to take advantage of the lack of defensemen. You've got to go after Perron. Where do you beat him? What do you try to do on a goaltender like that? <laughs> shoot, 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 <laughs> and shoot. That's all you can do. And, well, you know, that's all you can do, shoot the puck. Okay. Robin Bouchard, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Good luck the rest of thanks. the season. All right, Robin Bouchard joining us. We're at the second intermission. The Fury leading the Generals 4-1. We've got more for you during this break. We're coming straight back to LC Walker Arena.